There were two generals of the Mexican Revolution. There was Mastronon and Milino Zapata, Master Mexico. And then there is. I'm uh, chilling to the song. And I, you know what? Now that I know what Milino is, the other one. These are very famous Mexicans. Well, what's the other famous Mexican? Well, you're telling the story now. I'm trying to remember his name. <laughs> Here is a dope jam. You played some cultural shit, so I played some cultural shit. <laughs> I can't remember the other guy's name, but I'll remember in a second. Um, anyway. I'll do the flavor dance in a minute. Got his belly, smelling, smelling. Pancho Villa is the other one. I know Pancho. Pancho Villa is one of the more, more of the famous of two, but... Please don't confuse this with the sound I'm talking about. Face. But listen, um, I Emilio, am. The, the legend of Emiliano Zapata is because he was he rode a, a, a white horse, some sort of horse, right? And the legend goes, when he went to turn, when he went to go surrender to the United States Army after the revolution, they lured him into uh, a Mexican fort, or not an American fort, you know. And when he rode into the fort, they closed the gates on him. And then all the American soldiers jumped up and shot him down, dead. But his horse got away. So the legend goes that whenever Mexico's in trouble or, or needs assistance, his horse will appear. And Mexico will rise up. And that's the legend of Emiliano Zapata, as I've been told. Thank you. And that, 